So you know Blender's extensions platform where you have free and open source add-ons and themes? You can see here we have 600 add-ons, which are all just ready to download, completely free to use in Blender. And if you go to the approval queue, you can see there are even more waiting. So this is a really cool system where anyone can just make an add-on in Blender, you get it approved, and you can download it in Blender. But what's really cool is that instead of having to download these manually by clicking the Get Add-on on the website, you can actually be in Blender and in the preferences under Get Extensions, you can <laughs> you can just click Install in this list right here. So what if we just install all of them at the same time? What, what happens? I don't know. I just need to know. So I'm going to just reset my Blender file first. So I go to File, Defaults, Load Factory Settings. So this is what Blender by default looks like. I'm just going to increase my resolution scale a little bit so we can see what's going on here. Okay, yeah, let's just try it. Oh, there's a new button there. Okay, nice. Yeah, let's just keep going and see how Blender's user interface changes. Okay, this is... I can't really feel any difference. It's still... Oh, it's a little bit laggy, but it still feels responsive. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Wow, look at this. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. That is so much stuff. Yeah, this is probably where things are going to be saved. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe there might be some more intrusive add-ons that are uh, coming up. Okay, so that's 100 enabled. Oh, it says offline in the corner there. That's exciting. I might just break my computer with this. What else has changed? Per camera is something. Modifier, there's new apply buttons. Nice. Vertex groups. Oh, there's some rest position and uh, shape key mirror plus. It's so cool to see all this stuff come to life, you know? I've never felt the Blender community be so alive before when I can see them making all these changes to my Blender file. Like almost in real time, it feels like. Batch export. Okay, I'm getting distracted. Let's just keep going. We're at 100. Oh, there's mine. Simple auto visualizer. That's my extension. Look at that. Oh, it, we got our first fail here. Cannot import name. So our 178th add-on just didn't work. Yeah, this one, PCB 3D importer didn't work. Oh, permission denied. So that was 209, right? I'm gonna save. Oh, okay. <laughs> Everything looks different now. This is a weird add-on. I have no idea what which add-on that does this colored thing around here. Okay, let's save at 220 and let's just navigate and have a look here. Okay, so something has happened here. Oh, we got a ton of new icons there. All kinds of modeling stuff. Furniture tool. That's cool. Door tool. Yeah, I'm not going to click any buttons because I don't want things to crash. We're actually almost halfway. Okay, 220. And 300. Now we are halfway. Oh, copy attributes menu. I use that a lot. We have a ton of stuff here. We have a ton of new stuff up here as well. All new buttons everywhere. I think the biggest change so far is these colored lines around the thing here. I think that should be a theme. It might be a theme that got installed as an add-on. I don't know. I've only been installing add-ons though. Hang on, let's try the import. There. Oh, we have so much stuff now. Look at all that. Let's try Shift A. Oh, Shift A, <laughs> Shift -A is a pie menu now? Shift A. That's crazy. Oh, look, modern primitive. Oh, God, it feels like I'm getting like a new version of Blender almost. Okay, let's keep going. We're halfway there. Three hundred and ninety-nine, four hundred. I'm gonna save this. No, I couldn't save with Control S. Control S. Oh, Control S is now a pie menu. <laughs> save as. Wait, how can I just do Control S? Doesn't it save? Okay, so control S is gone. File, save. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there are so much weird stuff up here. I think these are layers, maybe. Yeah. Oh no, I should not be clicking stuff. That's a dumb idea. I will crash things if I do that, probably. Okay, so we're at 400. Let's keep going. Oh, I need to scroll so... Look at all this stuff that I've installed. Look at that. Okay, 400. <laughs> Welcome to the Camera Center database add-on. Do you want to check for updates automatically? No, I don't. Um, okay. 
I feel like I'm losing control over my button registration. Oh, look at all the stuff here. And if you press the N menu, you probably have an unlimited amount of stuff to scroll through here. We even have more stuff here. That's crazy. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Yeah, let's just hope this doesn't crash. Okay, so now we have 500 button extensions installed. There's so many weird new buttons here. Exclamation mark, warnings, open blend folder. Industrial AOV connector. Okay. Modifier profiling. Yeah, we only have 100 left. Let's just see if we can finish this without crashing. Oh, okay. We're already getting a little bit there. Here we go. Yeah, I can definitely feel that something's off, you know? I don't know how to explain it, but Blender feels like it's a little bit nervous, kind of. I don't know. Uh, hmm. Let's just keep going. We only have 100 left. My heart is actually racing now. <laughs> I'm spending so much time on this. I've been sitting here for 50 minutes installing <laughs> all these add-ons. Okay, uh, hang on. 550, no, 560. Oh, I forgot the number. I forgot what number I was at. Yeah, let's just keep going because it's not going to be 600 anyways because we don't really have all of these. Rig Flex Simple Softbody Simulations for Armatures. Install. Okay, so that now we've installed all the add-ons <laughs> on the Blender extension platform. Amazing. Let's uh, save this. This will, of course, be my new startup file. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Now let's explore this. What if we go add mesh? Oh my god, look at all of this. Extras, archi mesh, decoration props. That is crazy. So much stuff. And that's just the mesh. If you go to curve, strange attractors, look at all that simple. Let's press X. Does that work? Del <laughs> um, how do I delete the cube? Is it delete from file? Let's try that. Okay, that worked. Now something happened here. Though. <laughs> oh, there's just so much new stuff. I've never seen so many new buttons before. Look at all of this. Okay, so I managed to delete the cube at least. Let's add a Suzanne. Add... Where is Suzanne? Did I get rid of... There it is. Okay, I want to add some modifiers to this. Let's go to the modifier properties. So let's see here. Okay, so we do have the same number of modifiers, it seems. Like, uh, we have this... Oh! Wow! Look at this! Something has happened to the simple deform modifier. I guess. Or, what's the... What's this? Oh! That's actually really cool! I wish there... Oh, nice, and you can pull this... That's actually a really nice add-on. Wow, I should probably use that. I wonder what it's called, though. How do I figure out what this add-on is called? Is there no delete button? Uh, how do I delete the add modifier? Is this one? Okay, yeah. Let's uh, just do a uh, subdivision surface and see if that's... Oh, we can't make the shading smooth. I want to right click. Shade smooth. Yeah, nice. Yeah, okay, so here's my goal. I'm just going to try and render this monkey. That's ex that's the only thing I want to do. I just re render an image of this monkey. I'm going to see if that's possible to do. So if I rotate this... Yeah, I can't... It's, is it possible to just press R? Rx. Yeah, okay, so it's not uh, completely broken. So here, let's view from the side. I just, oh, I just want to rest it on the ground. There we go. And what happened when we press Z? Oh, wow, look at this. Set solid shading preset. HDRIs, normal. Wow. This is probably really cool because you can change between cycles and EV really easily. That's nice. Let's add a ground plane. Yeah. Shift A grid. Okay. Oh, look at all these icons. Look at that one. Nice. I feel like I've installed Blender's DLC or something. It feels like so many new buttons and cool stuff that I can do suddenly. Okay, so now we've got this huge plane here. Let's uh, make our background color black. World settings. Yeah, it's still the same button. Okay, I want to get rid of my light there. Oh, how do we delete again? Yeah, okay. Let's make it light. Add light. I'm just going to add an area light. I can't. <laughs> how do I um, how do I move the light? G Z If I go to the object properties, can I just move it here? Yeah. Okay. So apparently I can't really move stuff in the viewport anymore because it's snapped to the Okay, so it's this one. Yeah, we don't need that. And what happens if you right click on the light? <laughs> it's just that mode selection and it's just this nothing. I can't really do any changes to the light. There are probably multiple add-ons trying to control the light at the same time and it just doesn't work. Maybe we can add some uh, volumetrics as well. Yeah, I'm going to add a cube. 
large cube. Let's scale this up. Oh, if I press S, nothing happens, of course. I mean, what? Oh, now it does. Why does it only work every other time I do it? Okay, so pressing S only works like one third of the time. That's interesting. Yeah, we need to go to the shader editor. That's going to be crazy. Let's open this here. Shader editor. Let's just join down here. Shift A. Oh my god, look at all these nodes. Look at all this stuff. Lutz, sequential, diverging, cyclic. Whoa, procedural tiles node. General tiles. That is awesome. I'm going to try this on the ground texture. Let's just see here. Shift A. What was it called? Procedural tile nodes. General tiles. Oh my god, organic random cyber chip. Let's try this and um, plug it into the surface. Did it do UV maybe? Nice! Wow, this is a really cool add-on. I love that you can have custom icons. Hooked hexagons. Let's have a look at this. Oh no. Oh no. There's a line here now. <laughs> can you see that in the recording as well? Yeah, what's this line? It's just, what? how do I get rid of that? Oh no, I just made another one. Tr hmm. Um, yeah, oh, I sh why am I gonna keep doing this? It's so dumb. I think I've broken something because this doesn't work anymore. That is a really cool add-on. I need to find out what this is called. Procedural, oh yes, this one. That's an amazing add-on. A library of shader notes. Yeah, that's a really cool add-on. I mean, I got rid of one of the lines. Oh, I got rid of all of them. Nice. There's a Mandelbrot add-on. Of course there is. Oh, that looks so cool. Hang on. I was supposed to add a volume scatter node to this. There we go. Look at the Mandelbrot hair. Can we scale it? Oh, no. Oh, what's this? If you hold on Alt and middle mouse button, you can go like what frame you want to be on. What is that? That looks awesome. And then I can kind of just jump to frame 20. That's actually a really cool add-on. What's that called then? How do I know what that's called? How Can someone please help me figure out what the name of this add-on is called? Where you can hold down Alt and then middle mouse button and you can just click and drag with the middle mouse button and you can just change the frame. Look at that, you can even see how... That is a fantastic add-on. I'm not sure if I enjoy it being on Alt, middle mouse button click though because I you can, you can use Alt and middle mouse button to kind of change the orientation you're viewing it in. Okay, look at this Mandelbrot. Can we increase the resolution? I'm not going to go crazy with this because then we're just going to crash. That's so stupid. That's such a cool add-on. The Mandelbrot set. Let's make a new plane here. Grid. It looks so cool. It looks like I'm using like a future version of Blender with all this kind of cool stuff here. Let's get back to the shader editor here for the ground plane. General tiles. Squarey metal. There's an exclamation mark on it. A node tree. Smiley face. <laughs> now I got this line again. Okay. So if we take the color into the surface. Look at that. That's awesome. This is so cool. How can I can I scale this? That is this is actually a really cool concept. This is an ama Wait, I got a pie menu for a second there. Oh, nice. Toggle system console. Huh. We have so much stuff here. Look at the left side here. That is all kinds of stuff. Lumos light edit tool. Let's try this one. What happens if I I don't understand. I don't understand how it works. Now we have a light over there. Hmm. So many weird buttons that shows up if I do something. <laughs> Let's make a camera. I'm going to go shift A. No, I can't make a camera with a shift A. Add camera. Oh my god. Parallel oblique military camera. What's that? <laughs> we need to add a military camera. Oh, is this a military camera? Why is it a military camera? Is it because we're like far away and we're using like an orthographic? Let's try this one. Dolly camera rig. Oh, cool. So we can... Move. Okay, this is probably in post mode then. Okay, so if we move this back. Okay, so there's our camera. Hang on. Yeah, let's set this to the camera. Uh, object build. <laughs> oh my god, there's so much stuff here. Look at all this. What's this? Viewer toggle? No, what happened? Can I move this around? Or is this always there now? Okay, can we move this, the dolly camera? Look at that. See that? The camera is kind of... That's really cool. And this seems to override the... You know, if I'm being completely honest, I'm just so surprised by how stable everything is. Almost everything is working.
it's just really different. I just honestly, I did not believe it would be possible to install 600 add-ons at the same time. That is, that's crazy. It's crazy that this works. I haven't even been close to crashing and everything seems to be running stable. I can live preview with denoising. Everything just works like it's supposed to. There are a lot of new icons everywhere and I've discovered some really cool add-ons as well. This has been a really cool experiment. Okay, so I just stopped the recording and I just opened Blender again because I just by reflex like to have Blender open my computer. But it's just been standing like this for a couple of minutes now. It just doesn't open Blender. So I think I've bricked my installation. Yeah, I, <laughs> I just can't, I can't use Blender anymore. It just load, it's loading forever. I mean, I do have 600 extensions enabled, so that might be a reason why. I want to uninstall all the add-ons, but I can't open Blender to uninstall the add-ons. Okay, I think I found a folder. It's in app data and Blender 4.5, Blender org. Here you can see I have a ton of these folders. If I hold on shift, it's 597, which sounds correct because there were like three or four extensions that just didn't install properly. So I think if I delete all of these, is that possible? Okay, now it's deleting all of them. I think this should work. And I will get my Blender installation back again. 19, it's just stuck at 99%. Why is it working? Is my computer actually bricked now? I'm going to be so sad. I'm just, I'm canceling the operation. Yep, canceling. This is so dumb. I shouldn't have done this. Okay, now let's try and open Blender and see if it works. It's a different color now, at least. It used to be gray. Now it's like dark gray. Doesn't work. Hmm. I, you know, I should probably just reinstall Blender. Blender 4.5. I'm just going to uninstall it. And I hope it will delete all the stuff I just downloaded. Okay, I can already download it again. Blender 4.5. Okay, so now let's reinstall it again. Okay, now let's open Blender again and let's see if this works. Please work. Blender Foundation. Blender. Oh, it worked! Nice! <laughs> please don't crash, please don't crash. <laughs> okay. Oh, I need to see what extensions are installed. No! No, okay, yes. Yes, they're all uninstalled. Good. Missing add-ons. Well, it's probably all of them, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Simple audio visualizer. Let's try and install this one. So if I go here now, it doesn't work. Why doesn't my add-on work? Okay, so extensions doesn't work anymore. I've lost the privileges to use extensions in Blender. Very sad. Does screencast keys work? Okay, let's try screencast keys. It actually doesn't work. I deleted some files I probably shouldn't delete. This is going to take a while to figure out. I think I'm just going to end the video there. Um, thank you for watching me destroy my Blender installation. Apparently I can't use extensions anymore. That's... That's karma, probably. That's so funny. But it sucks. I really want to use extensions. I need to figure this out. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching this video. If you thought this was an interesting project, please leave a like. Please check out the Blender extensions platform. You should give ratings to the extensions that you find valuable. Maybe submit your own, get it approved in approval queue. This project made me really happy. I just didn't realize there were so many amazing extensions out there. I'm definitely gonna check out more extensions because there were so many cool new buttons to click in Blender. I got excited about that. It felt magical actually. Yeah, it did. But now I need to fix my computer. So thanks for watching.